As a good designer, we must understand the roots or the culture or the history of the site. It can be part of the very unique features when we come to designing the areas. We call ourselves a composer as base. I am Hua, a founder of Land Art Design. Land Art started in 1998 in Penang and we extended to KL in 2010. I think most of the bigger projects in KL now are uh, involving like uh, DRX, Malaysia Financial Hub, and the second one will be Southfield Developments in Bangi. After practicing for 15 years in the industry, we begin to notice the seamless integration of landscape and interior as one entity. There is no boundary between two of them. Our new vision is nurture the future by nurturing the space, people and nature. Alila 2 is one of the projects that we are most proud of. Alila 2 is at Tanjung Bunga, Penang, close to the Sacred Forest with a lot of native trees, orchard and fauna. Because we listen to the sound of nature, we have applied the biophilic approach to the entire development, including the engineering structures, for an innovative and sustainable solutions to counter challenges at the site. Alila 2 design concept is step to paradise. From day one, we already anticipate the idea to using a softscape to blend in with the surrounding areas. After the guardhouse that you're coming in, you drive your car up in the Mandarin Road. Original structures was very, very hard. So we have a mixture of creepers, uh, climbers and ground covers combined with the native plants that all self-sustaining uh, were incorporated into the original landscape site up to the drop-off areas that actually we welcome you with a big piece of carpet that are using a quartz stone materials with a water feature right about at the centre. Then you can see the creeper creep up from ground floor to seven storey. Actually, that is part of the architecture drop-off point to soften up the entire car park area. That also have using some uh, green panelling as well. When you're entering into the lobby, you have been welcomed with a very beautiful picture frame from the nature of the surrounding areas. So that is part of the biophilic approach. We want to maximize usage of natural ventilations and also the lighting in the lobby so we can save a lot of energy. And all the colors actually you can see are very monochrome. Uh, that is part of the interiors, designer, landscape architect and architect collaborations work. Another interesting approach will be a borrowed landscape idea at level 8. We are trying to bring a surrounding view into the site itself, especially when you enter into hydro gym, jacuzzi and swimming pool. Alila 2 is one of the projects we call Go for Green Building Index because we have recycled some of the dry leaf and driftwood to turn it part of compost that require at Alila 2 landscape areas. We are able to achieve about 55% of the total requirements of the maintenance requirement for fertilizer is equally to about 90 kg. Hopefully in the near future that what we're able to contribute back is to a community and society. We have gone through a very serious pandemic for more than a year. Later. I think what we really need to look into is the public spaces and recreational spaces that we're able to provide some breathing space for people to walk out from the house. Hopefully in the future, my whole team can do some CSHA projects for the governments or for certain private sector that would like to adopt certain empty spaces in urban areas or rural areas that we're willing to open our hands to help. I work with my passion. I work with the things that I love to do. 20 years over years until today, it still remains the same. I hope my passion will last forever, but I hope my passion also able to influence the younger generation as well.